I'm gonna be quite honest here. There are still times where I struggle to stay motivated. However, I will admit that after implementing these systems that I've learned over the years, it has made overcoming these struggles a little easier. It now takes me way less mental effort and turns something I used to once dread into something that I want to do. Hi everyone, my name is Philip. In this video, I am going to go over what I have learned over the years and what works for me. Hopefully this helps you as well or maybe give you ideas to coming up with whatever will work for you. So let's get started. So the first thing is I kind of like to implement a reward system. So I take advantage of the reward dopamine system that is deeply embedded into our brains. Um, so I will have rest days and cheat days. Those are my rewards. Granted, it does take motivation to adhere to this like schedule and routine. However, once a routine, you know, once it's done so many times then it becomes a habit, it just becomes second nature. I like to implement the rewards evenly. So instead of it being, you know, Monday through Friday, I'm working out or doing something, um, you know, just thinking about it, it's already exhausting because I can already tell by Wednesday I'm going to be kind of done and I just want to take a break. But if I have to keep going two more days until Friday to get a break, Thursday and Friday, it's just not going to be enjoyable for me and that's going to take a lot of willpower for me to just push through. So instead, I like to put my rewards on Wednesday and Saturday. That way it's, you know, evenly distributed, it's in the middle. And um, by the time I'm starting to feel mentally exhausted, which is by Wednesday, I take a break and I kind of do a mental reset. And it's a lot more manageable and it's a lot easier for me to stick to this routine and stay motivated um, because it doesn't feel like I'm forcing myself to push through. It's just, I know when my body needs a break. I listen to my body and I give it breaks when it needs breaks. I don't force anything. I think that's key. Once it gets to the point where you're, you're forcing yourself to do something, um, most likely than not, it's not going to stick around for a long time and it's going to take way too much motivation so you know i listen to my body i take breaks when i need breaks i know my body wants a break you know after working every two days so that's why i schedule my rest and cheat days on wednesday and then i do it on saturday so my typical schedule would be like monday monday tuesday i work out wednesday i take a break Thursday, Friday, I go ahead and work out, and then Saturday, and then usually Sunday as well, I take a break. And it's worked well for me, and I haven't experienced any burnt out from this, so um, that's what I do. So the second thing is enjoying my workouts and diet. When I enjoy doing something, it makes it so much easier to stick to it. Whether it's making my favorite dish, or going for a swim every here and there, if I enjoy doing those things, I would hardly need any motivation at all. I preach this a lot on this channel, but I think it's super important to find an exercise that you enjoy. For me, by going to the gym, because I enjoy it so much, when it's time for me to go, I look forward to it and I'm excited for it. No motivation needed. I go because I want to go, not because I have to go. By eating foods that I enjoy, it's easy for me to stay motivated to my diet. What I do is try and still enjoy whatever it is I'm craving, but see if I can find a healthier version of it. So either I would make it at home or find, you know, a place that does take out, but you know, I look at the ingredients and I kind of analyze it. This way I can still eat what I enjoy without the extra calories, the fat, the sodium, the cholesterol, and all that extra mumbo jumbo that, you know, 
wouldn't help me towards my goal. However, I do not eat healthy all the time. I mean, that sounds really exhausting to eat healthy all the time. Um, so there are days where I have whatever it is I'm craving, you know, if I'm craving McDonald's and I go get myself a McFlurry, some fries, some McChicken Nuggets, some Big Mac, the crispy McChicken. I think it's all about balance. So the third thing that keeps me motivated is seeing progress. Whenever I see that all my hard work and effort is finally showing, it gives me that reassurance and most importantly, the motivation to keep going. Whether it's achieving a certain body fat percentage or weight on the scale, a certain ab to show, whatever it may be, once I see progress that the goal is getting closer, it's like a self-creating cycle of motivation and it just fuels me to keep going. And the last thing is how my mood and energy is when compared to before living healthy. So before I was living healthy, I was feeling very sluggish all the time. From the moment I woke up to the moment I slept, no matter how much coffee I drank or energy drinks, um, no matter how good my sleep quality was, I just felt very heavy, bloated, you know, just, I often got sick like a couple times a year. It just wasn't a good feeling. But now that I've started, you know, prioritizing my health and my well-being. I noticed that that tiredness that I felt went away. The heaviness feeling that I felt went away. I feel like I just have more energy to do things. My mind is also more woke. And lastly, I just feel a lot more confident. I don't know how to... But if The best way to explain it is that... I just feel like I am giving my body what it needs and my body is giving me what I need and what I want and it's just kind of like this I developed this relationship with my body and we're working together to like achieve like my goals and it's and it's so crazy because it just, I feel like at peace with my body. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. Before we weren't on the same team, we were fighting each other. You know, I was giving my body, you know, what I wanted, but not what it needed. And it was, just, it was, it was a clash. But now it was, it's like we're a team and we're, we're doing so well. So that's what motivates me to continue living healthier. So these would be my four main things that keep me motivated to living healthy. I hope this inspires you or motivates you to come up with ways to stay motivated. There's no better time to invest into your health than right now. See ya!